Did you know that there was a time when I absolutely hated Carnatic music? I found it very boring, very uncool, and I couldn't listen to a Carnatic song for more than 2 or 3 minutes. But look at me now. I am a professional musician. I am absolutely in love with Carnatic music, and I run an academy which specializes in Carnatic music. So how did I make the transformation from hating it to loving it to pursuing a career in it? So that's the secret I'm going to share with you today and if you are an aspiring singer and you want to take your singing to the next level this video is going to be very helpful to you I'm Pratibha Sarathi and you're watching Vox Guru's YouTube series if you enjoy our videos please do subscribe to this channel right away and motivate us to create more and more great content <laughs> Now the first reason for my transformation I would say is my stubborn parents. You know as a child and a teenager I have tried all possible ways to stop learning music. Okay I have thrown all kinds of tantrums. I have given lot of excuses. I have pretended to be sick. I have refused to practice. I have performed very badly in front of my teacher hoping that that will make them stop my classes. So I have done ridiculous things to actually stop learning Carnatic music. but not once did my parents even consider stopping my journey back then i just thought that they were being bad parents you know they were not listening to their child they were not caring about my opinions my thoughts and all of that but today i cannot tell you how grateful i am that they actually forced me to stay in the journey if they had listened to me if they had said that okay you know she is not interested let's respect her wishes and if they had actually stopped my music class Just imagine I would not have been here in front of you there would be no vox guru I would not have had the opportunity to connect with so many of you and spread the joy of carnatic music so my basic advice to all young parents is that if you have a child who is showing a spark or a natural talent in music please try to nurture it for as long as possible even if the child is not showing that much interest in the beginning it is okay because interest is something that keeps changing right our tastes our likes and dislikes keep changing so if we stop the journey just because they are not interested as a child we are actually eliminating the possibility that they can actually appreciate it in future right i am not saying that every child should ultimately become a professional singer i am not saying that but i am saying if the child is really talented they should at least have that option right they should at least have the skills and the knowledge to consider it in future and also remember that the childhood and teenage is a very very important time for us to learn anything new because our grasping power is at an absolute max right so if we miss out on this important phase and then realize later say in our 20s or 30s that we really love it and you know i wish i had learned it back then then it's going to be much more difficult for you to start from scratch and then establish yourself in the field The second big factor in my transformation was finding the right teacher. In my early years of my journey, I was learning music in a very mechanical fashion, right? The teacher would be singing something, I would be repeating it, it will go on and on and on. I didn't know why I was learning this, what exactly I was learning, I had no clue, right? So it was just a formality that I used to go sing and come back. That's it. So but it was only after a few years that I met a really good teacher who completely changed my approach in Carnatic music. and she did not try to convince me or anything like that she just taught me carnatic music and made me realize how much beauty it carried in fact when i sat in my first class with her i realized that what i have been learning all these years is not carnatic music i had to relearn with a completely fresh perspective it was only here that i realized how to explore a raga and how to understand its beauty you know even to appreciate a raga you need to have a lot of knowledge otherwise you will not even notice what all is there in that ragam so i was suffering from this problem right since i didn't have the knowledge i was not able to see the extreme beauty in front of me so thanks to my teacher i knew where to look and i knew how to approach any new raga so how to understand its notes how to understand its gamakas how to understand the phrases how to avoid certain wrong usages all of this came to life when i started learning from the right teacher so this is also something very important for you to observe if you are learning in a very mechanical format where the teacher is singing you are repeating teacher is singing you are repeating if that is 
the only thing happening in your class then there is a very important step that is missing which is active correction okay it is this active correction which constitutes 80% of your learning right without this you are just repeating what you hear but you have no idea whether you are singing it right and when you keep practicing the same thing again and again with a mistake that means you are practicing the wrong thing repeatedly and later maybe after one or two years if you decide that okay let me go into some better training at that time it will be very difficult for you to unlearn all your mistakes i meet many students day in and day out who have learned the wrong way practiced the wrong way and they are really struggling to unlearn all of that now if you start learning from a good teacher right from the beginning then it is great you will keep going on the upward but if you learn certain things wrongly and then you meet a good teacher then you will be spending the first few years unlearning things so that is what i also went through right when i started learning from a good teacher i had to unlearn a lot of things and that took a lot of time it also caused a lot of frustration in my mind luckily i was very determined to get it right so i knew i had found the right teacher and i wanted to make it work i wanted to get into music professionally so i put in a lot of hard work to make that happen but it was no piece of cake okay so if you can avoid that instead if you can learn from a good teacher right from the beginning that will make your life much much easier and last but not the least i started really enjoying and appreciating carnatic music only when i started focusing on the content more than the packaging right nowadays technology has grown so much that when we listen to a song the first thing that we hear is you know a nice echo a nice reverb perfect studio sound and the sound itself gets us so engrossed with the music so we get carried away by those aspects and not the actual musical content so our ears are used to that nowadays right but when you are listening to carnatic music especially when you pick up one of the old recordings you know some of the very old kacheris by the maestros you will not find a great audio quality there you may not even find a great voice right but i would say even voice is just the periphery what lies within that the musical genius that is what i started listening to so today i can go hours and hours listening to really really old carnatic kacheris and every rendition is like a master class of that raga because i am able to pick up the musical content from it so i am able to observe what are the phrases they are using what are some of the ideas i can use in my manodharmam so i am getting a great deal of knowledge from each and every recording because i am not bothered about the packaging of it right i am only focused on the musical content and i would strongly recommend that you also start doing that because if your ears are able to appreciate only very well produced music then you are going to miss out on a lot of legendary content which has been created a century earlier and especially carnatic music has a very very rich heritage and it is very important that we listen to a lot of maestros who have sung many decades earlier okay so try to get used to both i am not saying one thing is bad and the other thing is good but your ears should be able to appreciate both types of music hope you enjoyed this video and hope it will inspire you to take one step closer to carnatic music so if you want to learn carnatic music in a really fun and enjoyable manner please join vox guru's live carnatic curriculum we have a beautiful program that is organized into grades and in every grade there will be clear objectives clear goals that you need to achieve and i have tried to make it as interesting as possible because i don't want you to go through what i went through so right from day 1 i want you to really fall in love with carnatic music so that you can pursue your potential to the maximum so please join us right away all you have to do is drop us a whatsapp message so say hi to us and we'll get back to you with all the details and also don't forget to download the vox guru app so if you're looking for some self learning courses in carnatic music or even in other styles of music then we have some great courses for you on the app i have shared the link of that also in the description so please do explore it and i'll be waiting for that whatsapp message take care mm -hmm.